Hey everyone, it's Cascobi here, and welcome back to the long-awaited return of Studio Bits. But it's a quarantine edition this time, so I'm doing my best to make this video for you. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, which BenQ lovingly sent to me, so thank you guys for that. I've been using it for a couple of months or so, and I wanted to bring you guys my thoughts on it so far. I've actually been looking for a light source like this for quite a long time, actually, because even with all of these other fancy light sources I've got in the studio, my keyboard and actual desk space has always been fairly dark, and this definitely fixes that issue. I mean, you can just see how dark my keyboard and mouse area tends to get. So the Screen Bar Plus is the model that I've got here, and it's just about big enough to cover the top of my iMac and light up my desk space perfectly. So here I'll show you guys the actual box itself. Inside it, it includes the Screen Bar and as well a little control module to control the light, as well as a little cable to connect the whole thing to your PC or Mac. So the way you actually mount the screen bar is by putting it on top of your monitor without any adhesives because that will just leave a whole bunch of residue and that's just annoying. It's actually got a weighted section at the back of the light that sits behind the monitor and grips onto the back of it while still holding it in place. So the light itself is actually really useful. You can kind of tilt it to any direction you want it and if you get it to just the right angle you can kind of point it down at your desk and not have any glare show up in your monitor, which is kind of the whole point of this thing, because having monitor glare is one of the most annoying things, especially if I'm making videos like I do and I need, you know, the best colour accuracy I can get on my monitor. So the whole thing's got a fairly long cable, just enough to connect your screen bar to whatever USB port you want. And as well as that, there's also a long cable connecting the actual screen bar itself to the control module. Speaking of the control module, this is it. The little puck-shaped device that you can put, like, anywhere on your desk with all the controls on it that you need to control the light bar itself. It features a dial on it to control both the brightness of the light and the white balance so you can tune it to exactly how you need it. It's also got a button on it to set the light to go into auto brightness mode where it uses the ambient light sensor on the back of the control puck to actually set the brightness of the light itself. So pretty much everything you need to get some extra light in your studio or PC setup. You can see with just the screen bar itself it adds a really nice new look to my studio, kind of muted, kind of weird detective working in the dark kind of thing, but I kind of like the possibilities that it adds to my studio lighting setup. Now I figured you guys would want to see this because I know a lot of you spend a lot of your time working on launch pads and you need some extra light for your spaces so I want to help you out with that in the best way possible. You can get one of these as well for yourself for around about £120 but it's got a really nice design and a high quality build so I really think it can be justified. So there you go everyone, that's my quick review of the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys get one of these for yourself. So yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next episode of Studio Bits. Stay safe everyone.